Hello, my YouTube friends and colleagues. I have another battle here, this time against Zai. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, get into this. And uh, there's the teams. And, uh, well, now you can see them. Okay, so he's running uh, both tapu or two Tapus, which is always an interesting setup. Um, he also has the Mega Charizard. I don't know which kind yet. Um, I'm using some fun stuff. I'm using some stuff I kind of like. Um, the uh, NGDL2 is uh, concluding its draft, so um, I'm actually using Thunderous, which is a uh, Pokemon that I obtained, so you're going to see a little bit of it, uh, you know, in the upcoming battles and uh, for the Miami Dolphins, but uh, this is obviously not. I'm just using it, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave with uh, Rotom, and this is actually Rotom Heat Form, and I decided to go for the trick to try to, uh, you know, get this uh, Heat Brands item. I think he's just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. Um, but it fails, so that tells me he actually has a Z Crystal, and I don't really have a safe switch in for this Heatran, but I know he can't really damage me either, so I decide just to try again for the trick, and he's going to go into Guard Chomp, so that's pretty cool, uh, because I get the trick off on that. Now, I don't know if that was a misclick or he just kind of derp. He goes for a Swords Dance here, which makes no sense, considering he just received a Choice Scarf, but, um, no, I'm just going to go over Thin Power Ice. It's going to kill him anyway, so, uh, yeah, not a, uh, bad start here, and, um, he's just going to go into his, uh, Greninja now. So, um, I'm not really sure what to expect. I decide just to go for the Volt Switch. I know that he's going to be able to outspeed me. I don't know what kind of, um, you know, Greninja this is. He ends up just, uh, going for the Rock Slide, so it's Protean. And, um, he doesn't actually quite kill me, despite it being super effective. Uh, and I'm able just to, uh, go for that, um, Volt Switch, which does end up killing me to the Life Orb. But, it, uh, actually crippled this, uh, Greninja, which is really nice. So, I'm just going to go to my, um, Exodrill. I actually decide just to go for a, um... What is it, a Rapid Spin? And he just goes into his Charizard, so that's kind of annoying because I really don't have anything, because I don't know what kind of Charizard this is yet. I decided to go into Seismitoad just in case it's Charizard X, but it ends up being Charizard Y. So he's going to go ahead and Mega Evolve here. He's going to go for the Flamethrower, which obviously is super strong in the um, drought that Charizard Y creates. And I know I cannot stay in. While I do resist the Flamethrower, I don't really take it that well. I take um, almost half to it because of just how powerful Charizard Y is in the sun. But I also know these guys do carry Solar Beam, so I'm going to have to pivot here. It's a risky pivot in case he does try to go for the Flamethrower again. But I really have no choice. I'm hoping that he goes for a Solar Beam, so I'm just going to go into my Thunderous, who uh, has the Grass Resistance. So I'm hoping to take it okay. I mean, Thunderous isn't the bulkiest thing, but I can uh, hopefully take a resisted Solar Beam okay, and it does. I take a uh, little less than half. So um, I know they can outspeed Mega Charizard Y, so I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt. And uh, he has no safe switches in for that anymore. Uh, because his, uh, Garchomp died, so he basically just lets his, uh, Charizard Y die, just get sacked, so, um, that's pretty cool for me. And, uh, now in comes Greninja now. The fact that he's coming in here makes me believe that this thing is Scarfed. Also, he did switch out against my Exodrill earlier. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna go out to my Gallade. He does go for the Rock Slide again, and he is not gonna stay in. He's gonna go right back into Heat Ran, which is a switch I wasn't expecting. I decided just to go for the knockoff, expecting the switch. But I wasn't expecting Heat Ran to come back in. Obviously, we already know it has a Z Crystal, so I can't actually knock it off. Plus, Heat Ran is weak to fighting, so it's not a really common switch in for Gallade. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Drain Punch to, uh, kill this guy. And I guess he decided that he needed to sack something in order to get a safe switch in, um, on his Tapu Finny. Which, I'm not really sure what he was thinking, because Tapu Finny would have been a pretty okay safe switch. Um, anyway, it's not really a whole lot I can do to him unless I carry the random poison move, which I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I go into my Seismitoad. I do have the Sludge Bomb, or is it Sludge Wave? I can't remember. I have a um, poison move on this Seismitoad to maybe hit this guy, but um, I'm able to... It, it, just, it looks like he's going to be able to KO me with Moonblast. I was hoping to maybe live one Moonblast, maybe get off, you know, cripple this thing a little bit, but um, I actually feel pretty confident. Even though I lose Seismitoad here, it allows me to go out and um, go into my... Well, I go into my Thunderous. That's right. I go into Thunderous now. Um, and look how well this thing takes a Stab Thunderbolt. It actually lives. A Stab, super effective Thunderbolt from a Thunderous with a Life Orb? That's pretty absurd. That's that's how, uh, tanky Tapu Fitty really is. Like, holy crap. I don't, I don't think... That, come on, man. That's like... whatever. Um, so it lives, and now I feel confident going in a Scolipede. Um, I know his remaining Pokémon are his Tapu Bulu and his Greninja. Obviously, here I can just uh, finish off this Tapu Finny with a Poison Jab, uh, get the Speed Boost. He's going to go into Greninja, but like I said, I'm pretty darn sure this thing is Scarf, so I can just go for the Protect, get plus two speed. Um, if I didn't go for the Protect here, he would have been able to outspeed me anyway, because Greninja is faster than Scolipede. 
But now I feel confident that I can obviously outspeed this Scarf Greninja. And, um, yeah, just try to take it out with a, uh, really anything at this point. I decided to go for an Earthquake because it's the, now the Rock type, so might as well go with the super effective move. Um, and his last Pokemon is, of course, Tapu Bulu, which is not going to take a Poison Jab that nice. It's X4 weak to it, and I'm um, able to take it out before it does anything at all. So, good game there, Zai. And today's question of the day is, um, being that today is Valentine's Day, um, leave a comment about something that you love. As for me... It's hard to imagine anything that I love more than my beautiful wife and amazing daughter, Ayla. So, love you guys, happy Valentine's Day, and, um, yeah, once again, uh, leave that comment about, uh, something you love. It doesn't have to be a thing you most love, but just something you love here on Valentine's Day. Goodbye, y'alls.